Welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about enthalpy, which is an example of a state function. So what is enthalpy? This is what your textbook has to say. Enthalpy is the internal energy of a system plus the product of its pressure and volume. So if a system changes at a constant pressure, the change in enthalpy is delta H, which equals the change in the other side of the equation. While we're working at constant pressure, we can distribute the delta uh, to the E and to the V that were inside the parentheses. Hmm. Uh, knowing these equations, we can substitute the, hmm, hold on. Hmm. This looks an awful lot like a derivation. I knew it. Section 5.3 is just PCAM in disguise. And while I love PCAM, so don't think I'm dissing on PCAM, we are not studying PCAM in this class. So let's refocus. This is what chemistry 101 students need to know about enthalpy. Enthalpy is abbreviated as the letter H. You can essentially think of enthalpy as something's internal energy. It's how much money they have in the bank. Where this gets weird is that we can't actually measure an object's total enthalpy. We'll never know exactly how much money they have in the bank or even whether they're at a positive or a negative balance. But we can measure changes in enthalpy. Specifically, we will do this by measuring how much heat an object releases or absorbs. So although we can never know exactly how much money is in the bank, we can measure the size of the deposits and the withdrawals. Enthalpy is what we consider a state function, meaning it's only the current state of the system which determines its enthalpy. The other kind of function is a path function in which it matters how the system got to where it is. An example of a state function is elevation. Um, the elevation of a mountain is the top of a mountain minus the bottom of the mountain, regardless of how you travel to get there. On the other hand, Distance traveled is a path function. A long winding path to the top will have a higher distance traveled than a direct route. But regardless of which path you take, the elevation at the top is the same. Returning to chemistry, imagine you take 50 grams of ice and heat it to 25 degrees. Now imagine taking 50 grams of boiling water and cooling it down to 25 degrees. That water that's at 25 degrees has the same enthalpy no matter which path it took to get there. That's all you need to know about enthalpy for this class. Next lesson, we'll talk about how enthalpy changes during a chemical reaction.